Mapalad ang bumaba sa nang salita ng pula Mapalad ang nakikinig at tumutupad Mapalad ang nahapis at sila ay aagiwin Mapalad ang nagugutom at sila ay bubusugin Sila lamang ang maliligtas And to all the pastors, I just want to appeal to you I too am a pastor, I've been a pastor for about 35 years And I love the Lord just as you do And um, I, I just realize that there's more to the Sabbath and the fourth commandment than what I'd ever known before. And the Sabbath truth is a truth that Almighty God wants to bless you with. I'm a different man from a year ago because I've you know, um, responded to this message of the Sabbath. And uh, someone, uh, one of the students is Adventist, or maybe several of them. Right. But they, uh, Father gave you a book and you read it? Correct. And it had an impact on your life? It had a great impact, Danny. Actually, it more than an impact, it changed my life. Wow. It absolutely changed my life. Okay. I'm not the same man that I was a year ago. Tell us a little bit about then how you, you've just said to the folks here and the folks at home, I'm sure there are a lot of people just like yourselves now. Okay. You're, you're not a, what we call at home a, a backwoods preacher. You didn't just no. decide one day, hey, I no. think I'll be a preacher. You actually have a doctor's degree in theology. That's correct. And so you, you went to school uh, for a long time. Right. But you never really, it just didn't occur to you about the Sabbath. You just didn't understand about the Sabbath or what was it? Well, then how do it you get a I'm yeah. sorry to say this. How do you get a doctor's degree in something and not understand the Sabbath? Well, I've, I, wanted to ask, I wanted to ask those Is that professors. Too blunt? Uh, Is that no, too? no, I wanted to ask my, my professors the same thing. How, how did I get this doctor's degree and I didn't understand that? No, okay. it wasn't that I didn't understand it. I just was never really exposed to it. Okay. I was just never really exposed to so Sabbath. So when you read Keep the Sabbath Holy, you didn't think about the Seventh-day Sabbath? No, I never thought about Seventh-day Sabbath. We were keeping Sunday um, as our day of worship, and I just okay. thought that's the way we did it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, tell, tell us a little bit about before yes. and, and the, the after. You said it's changed your life. In it what has. ways has it changed you? Well, first of all, uh, um, I, I have always had a great admiration for the Nine Commandments. Okay. <laughs> all right. For the Nine Commandments. I, I just never understood the fourth one of the okay. ten. Right. And so uh, I, I've, I've studied and uh, observed the, the other nine. I just didn't pay attention to the, to the fourth one. But when I grabbed hold of the truth on the fourth commandment, it just absolutely, totally revolutionized my life. I'm not the same man that I was a year ago. Wow. I'm not the same man. Amen. Uh, my walk with God is sweeter. It's deeper. The presence of God is in my life in a way that I have never known it before. I read the scripture. And, and the scripture begins coming alive to me. And it has done that in many, many yeah. times before. But I pick up the scripture now and I see things that I've read before that didn't understand. And now I, I just understand it. Wow. It's just an amazing of how God's imparting to me revelation and knowledge of his word. Things that I've never really known before. So, and not just on the Sabbath, but other things. On other things. So yeah. you, you feel like this, this understanding, I mean, that's a big statement. But that's a big statement. You're saying this understanding of the Sabbath and, and God's truths are opening your eyes to other truths. But I'll tell you what, I, I know that's a bold statement, but that's absolutely true. Yeah. Once my wife and I read this book, Ten Commandments Twice Removed, and we were convinced that this book was scripturally sound, and we embraced it. At that moment in time, as we embraced it, it was as if the Spirit of God just started pouring on us. Wow. Pouring on us, brother. And, and it's a sovereign thing. Yeah. It's nothing we've done. We're not doing anything different than what we were doing before other than we're just walking in the truth of this fourth commandment. Yeah. Wow. And brother, people now start coming into, into our congregation and, and, and um, they have said to us, visitors would come for the first day and they would say, Wow, there's something here. We, feel the, we felt the presence of God when we walked in the door. Wow, isn't that amazing? Yeah. 
And, and I'll just tell you, that's because of the presence of God and that's the sovereignty of God that, that he, he blesses those that walk in his Ten Commandment truths. And now I've got all ten there that I can work with. <laughs> By the way, I do have a passion that every pastor gets this book. Okay. And well, what, what are we going to do about that? Well, uh, Danny, I'll tell you what, I've made a commitment that I want to see that every pastor in my state, which is Alabama, receives a copy of the book. Every pastor from any church? Every pastor from any church will get this book. We've already uh -huh. made arrangements with the publisher, Remnant Publications, mm -hmm. to mail a copy of this book to every church in the state of Alabama. Well, wow, isn't that amazing? Yeah, praise from, the Lord. From this fellow who a year ago didn't even understand these truths. Now, no, didn't understand uh, it. Dwight Hall was on a program, and yes. you were on, in fact, a few weeks ago, and Reggie mentioned that he wanted to do that. Well, people started calling in and said, well, we want to do this too. Mm -hmm. So about uh, 35 or 40 states, have, I think, have been covered. There's some states that's not covered. Mm -hmm. Virtually every pastor uh, in the United States of America, from no matter what church, will get this book mm -hmm. and Absolutely. so we're asking those of you at home if you would like to do that you yes. can write to remnant publications or 3ABN and say I'd like to sponsor some of these books and I want to support that also mm -hmm. remnant has done an incredible thing what they've done is they said for I think it's 99 cents or a dollar you not only get the 128 page book but they do the shipping the handling the postage everything yes. for a dollar right I think it is and so they're pat doing these all over and right. then people are doing zip codes Yes. About 200,000 books have been ordered at a dollar yes. piece, and they're actually, somebody says, well, I wish everybody in my area could get one of these. Yes. And so they say, well, give us your zip code. We'll mail for you, and we'll do all of this. So for under a dollar, uh, you're saying it's worth it. I'll tell you, it's the greatest investment of a dollar that I know how to spend. Wow. Uh, brother, I'll tell you, getting this truth of the Sabbath truth out to, to these millions of believers. See, see Danny? Mm -hmm. Uh, there, there's millions of people here in this country and probably around the world that were just mm -hmm. like me that love the Lord. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, I love the Lord. I have lo yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not a brand new person to loving the Lord. All right. Good. Okay. I, I've been knowing, mm -hmm. I've had a relationship with the Lord Jesus since I was nine years old. All right. So I've loved okay. Him with all of my heart and I've walked mm -hmm. in the truth of what I had. I just didn't yeah. have it all. All right. See, but all now right. since I'm fully equipped with this Sabbath truth, it all just right. makes such a difference. And I want to see every pastor lead his congregation into this truth. Amen. I want to see that happen. All right. Well, in addition to the folks at home, before I uh, say anything to uh, just to you, I want to say something to the group that is called the Seventh-day Adventist. I am not a Seventh-day Adventist. I grew up uh, not in that, um, in, in that denomination. But the Seventh-day Adventists have uh, been, has been the group that has impacted our lives so much in that you've constantly just loved us, You've ministered to us. You were the group that handed me this book. Um, the gentleman that handed me the book, he had his children in our school. And over the five or six years that they were there, um, they just constantly just loved us and lived their faith. And I'll tell you something, as Adventists, a lot of the world, a lot of the Christian world looks at you uh, with, with kind of funny eyes. You know, they just look at you like, why would you want to waste a good Saturday? And they think of you as some kind of a, a maybe a cult or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, because I kind of looked at you with that judgmental look sometimes as well. Mm. But I'll tell you, um, I want to say thank you because you as a denomination, you have impacted our life and have brought this truth to us and you've lived your life consistently even when it wasn't popular and it's really not a popular thing now with with many people but you've lived your life in that way and i would just want to say thank you and and thanks be unto the lord for for how you've blessed our life and for those of you that are at home and i, I wish that i could have every pastor in the world and I, I know danny most of them are in church right now <laughs> But, but we're going to rerun these. We're going to rerun this. To all the pastors, I just want to appeal to you. I, too, am a pastor. I've been a pastor for about 35 years. And I love the Lord just as you do. And um, I, I just realize that there's more to the Sabbath and the Fourth Commandment than what I had ever known before. And I want to encourage you as a pastor, when you get this book, and if you live in the state of Alabama, you're going to get it, I want you to read this book. And uh, you might have to do like I did, and that's read it five times. It took me five times to really grab hold of all of it. But I want to encourage you as a pastor to read the book, and then take the contents of this book and challenge it with Scripture, and see if you can find anything in Scripture that differs with this book. But this book will support the Scriptures. 
and, and the scriptures support the book as well. And for those of you that are not pastors and you're just watching this via satellite or maybe it's a rerun or somehow, you, it's brought to you. Um, the steps of a good man are ordered of the Lord and, and, and you're watching this by divine appointment. And the Sabbath truth is a truth that Almighty God wants to bless you with. I'm a different man from a year ago because I've yeah, um, responded to this message of the Sabbath. And I just want to encourage every one of you that would read this book and, and consider uh, uh, obeying the fourth commandment. Obey all of them, but uh, zeroing in on that fourth commandment, the Sabbath truth. It is His holy day. And He will come and He will visit with you and you will be a changed person. Mapalad ang bumabasa ng salita ng pula Mapalad ang nakikinig at tumutupad Mapalad ang nahapis At sila ay aagiwin Mapalad ang nahapis